This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I start ZBrush in 3D modeling mode and not 2.5D paint mode? So I'm going to show two processes you can do to get ZBrush into 3D mode after you launch it, and these are going to be the fastest kind of methods you can use for this. And then I'll also show what the 2.5D mode looks like if you launch ZBrush that way as well. So first I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to launch ZBrush. Now the ZBrush I am launching here is a fresh install of ZBrush. So this is if you've gone to the My Licenses page, you've downloaded the ZBrush installer, and you've installed it, and this is the first time you're running the application. So after ZBrush launches here, this is what you should be greeted with. So the first thing you'll notice is that you have Lightbox open up here. And this is controlled by this button over here, or you can press comma on your keyboard to open and close Lightbox. Now the fastest way to get into 3D modeling mode with a fresh installation of ZBrush without installing anything else is after ZBrush is launched and Lightbox comes up, just simply come across any of these project files here and double click. So if I come across this sphere object here, the sphere 128, and I double click, this is now going to load that project into ZBrush. And now you'll see that I'm already in edit mode and I can just start sculpting on my model. At this stage, if I want to import in another mesh, I can go to the tool palette over here, I can import that in, I can append different subtools, I can do whatever I need to do. But ZBrush is already in that 3D mode. So that is the process to get to the 3D mode with a default installation as quick as possible. So as soon as ZBrush launches, just go to Lightbox, select any one of these projects in here, double click, this is going to load that project, and then now your model is in 3D mode and you can start sculpting. Now there is a Z plugin you can download from the Pixelogic Resource Center that will bypass that Lightbox process and speed it up a tad bit more. And that plugin is called Z Startup Master. So I have this plugin installed in this version of ZBrush here. So if I go to Z plugin here, you'll see there is a Z Startup Master plugin here. And in here you can store a bunch of settings that will kick in as soon as ZBrush launches. So let's say I always want to start with this polysphere here. I can just open up the Z Startup Master plugin after I've downloaded and installed it from the Resource Center. And then you just need to come down here and click Install Custom Startup. So you can leave all these settings by default if you're just doing this for the first time. So you just download the plugin, install it, and then now just come here and click Install Custom Startup. So this will now set up some scripts that will activate when ZBrush launches. And so now if I close ZBrush here, and now restart, you're going to see ZBrush is going to launch and it's going to automatically load that ZPR file and I can get right into Sculpt. So this is the second process you can use to launch ZBrush and get straight into sculpting on your model in 3D mode. Now this process does require that you download the Z Startup Master plugin and I'll have a link in the description here of this video so you can go and click on that, go to the Resource Center and then download the plugin there. After you have that plugin installed, if you don't want to use it anymore, you can just go to the Z plugin tab, go to Z Startup Master, and just click the uninstall startup there, and it'll uninstall those scripts. And then next time I launch ZBrush, it's not going to load this project automatically. Now, finally, I just want to go through and show the fastest way you can get into sculpting mode after you launch ZBrush, but you don't use Lightbox to load a project, and you don't use the Z Startup Master plugin. So one more process here. So I'm just going to close this out. And now I'm gonna launch ZBrush one more time. So ZBrush is going to launch. This time I'm going to ignore Lightbox so I can close it. If you wanna disable Lightbox entirely, you can go to Preferences, you can go to the Lightbox tab here, and there's an Open and Launch button you can disable, and then you can go to Config and Store it. So now Lightbox won't open automatically. Now, if your ZBrush is launching like this, right now you're in that 2.5D mode. So if you come across the canvas and click, you're gonna end up getting this. So this is just painting in 2.5D. To clear this out, you can press Control plus N on your keyboard and that will clear that out. But what I wanna be in is that 3D mode. So if I'm going this route, I'd come over here to the tool palette, I'd grab a poly mesh 3D star, so this is usually my go-to here, drag this out on my canvas, and then I'm gonna press T on my keyboard or click this Edit Option button there. And now my model is in 3D. At this stage, I can go through and load other tools, I can start moving this and sculpting on it. Um, pretty much anything you want to do since you're now in 3D mode. So that is the final approach to get into 3D mode as quick as possible if you have 
you know, ZBrush, but you're in that 2.5D, you just need to draw a tool out and then go into edit mode and then you'll be good to go. So I hope those three options help in getting you into that 3D modeling mode as quick as possible after you launch ZBrush. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.